Are you afraid to fight me yourself, you cowardly snake? <laughs> Guess he didn't see that coming. That ice arrow came in clutch, dude. Had about enough of you and your eyebrow. Who wrote this, a two-year-old? <laughs> oh, don't give me that smug face, Ben Affleck. Where's my real ending here? That right there was freaking luck. His dad's his weakness right there. Shiku Haruka to the face. Uh, go, go, baby. Woo! <laughs> What is up, my peeps? Welcome to my brand new playthrough, hosted by yours truly, Mysteries Pills X. And many of you guys are saying to yourselves, finally, you're doing a playthrough of this game. Well, this uh, this character um, in this game, I, you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, welcome everyone to Kirby's Dreamland on the Game Boy. Yes. Many of you guys are wondering, who is Kirby? What is there to say about Kirby that hasn't already been said? He, need, he needs no introduction um, and stuff. Kirby, well, in this game, he's a white puff ball and everything that pretty much eats a lot. That pretty much eats anything that gets in his path. There is no stopping Kirby because Kirby will soon eat the world. The world eater is upon us, everybody. The world eater will devour us. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, Matt. Well, what happened? Uh, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kirby. Um, Freaking. There's a... Very interesting history with Kirby because it's it's a it's pretty much a long story um, and stuff. But to make a long story short, um, there was a time when Nintendo was being sued by Universal Studios themselves over Donkey Kong because well Donkey Kong shares the same last name as King Kong and everything like that and stuff. And, you know, they pretty much saw that and I'm like, oh, you're you're pretty much, you know, you can't use the, the word Kong because we own that and everything like that and stuff. So Nintendo called the aid of one defense attorney known as John Kirby and everything. And pretty much John Kirby was able to win, uh, was able to help in Nintendo, pretty much won the lawsuit against Universal and everything like that and stuff. And Nintendo pretty much said, for a token of our gratitude, we want to make a, a character, uh, we want to, you know, make a character based on you, you know, on your name, on your name and everything. And thus, we've got Kirby, yes, um, and stuff. And, um, yeah, dude, this game is fun. Like, a lot of the Kirby games are really, really fun and everything like that. Honestly, I can't really... Speak ill about these games because freaking Kirby is just fun and everything. Like I find, like you know, um, I love the games and everything like that. I favorite one being Kirby, the Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards and everything, which I should probably do a playthrough of it pretty soon and everything. But I just want to get off, get the first one out of the way and everything like that and stuff. Um, my first Kirby game was actually. Um, Kirby's Dream Course and everything like that. That was on the Super Nintendo. That was my first exposure to Kirby and everything like that and stuff. And um, ever since then, you know, just played all the Kirby games and everything. I did play this game um, and stuff. I actually owned the. I actually did own the game. I bought it off of a yard sale and everything um, and stuff. And ever since then, I you know played it and I really enjoy it and everything. It's one of those games that I always just come back to and stuff like that. And for some odd reason. I always do a playthrough of this specific game on collab that I've been a part of, but just not on this on my main channel and everything. Like I don't know what it is. Like I'm just like, dude. Like I thought about that last week. Like damn, dude. Like freaking, I haven't done a playthrough of this game. Like on my on my main on my main channel. I'm like damn. Well, that that all changes today pretty much. Anyway, guys, we're facing off against. You'll see them a lot when you play other Kirby games, especially like in the first stages. We're facing off against Wispy Woods. Yes, pretty much to defeat Wispy Woods is eat, get these apples, throw it back at it, and then pretty much that's pretty much what you got to do and everything like that. 
These Kirby games are fairly easy. Like, these Kirby games are really not that hard at all and everything like that and stuff. Um, I never have any trouble with it um, and everything um, and stuff. And look at that. We got the star. We are treated to a little dance and everything. And thus, we are going to go ahead and go to stage two. Castle Lolo. Lo, Lo. I'm not going to make the obvious joke because I am pretty much did that in the past. And I'm pretty sure other people did it as well. But you guys know what I mean and stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and sing for everybody. Oh, I guess nobody liked oh, tough crowd, right? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, dude, like I really enjoyed playing this game um, and everything on my Game Boy Color and stuff. And probably that's what I should have done. I should have probably. No, you know what? I, I, I like to keep it authentic. I like to keep it how it was before. Uh, the Game Boy Color, because obviously when you're playing the Game Boy Color with like regular like the game, the Game Boys that the Game Boy games that came out on the original Game Boy, they were black and white and everything like that and stuff. Um, so I just like to keep it authentic and stuff like that. So yeah, and man, I just man, dude, freaking like um, I I don't really think there's a least favorite Kirby game um I, I just really like all of them and stuff like that I uh, I haven't played any of the new ones and everything I should probably get to but there's just other games coming out that I just I'm like damn dude like yeah <laughs> anyway you're facing off against the little sub boss yeah so through the game you'll be facing off against sub bosses and everything and stuff this is pretty much one of them and everything like that and stuff um, so yeah, um, they're really not that hard at all and stuff like that. Like, um, yeah, it's, it's just one of those games. Like, I think, you know, it's a pretty good, like, beginner, uh, when you're starting out playing video games and everything like that. I do kind of, I, I do have, um, my daughter loves playing the Kirby games and stuff like that. Um, I do believe she, the first, like, the, the first game that I had her play was, uh, this game specifically and everything like that and stuff. She loves Kirby. She she really loves Kirby. She's one. That's one of her favorite uh, Nintendo characters and stuff like that and everything. So yeah. Um, ah. And so these things right here call are, are called gordos and everything. And they can't get. They you can't eat them and stuff. You can't touch them at all. You can't defeat them. So just best to pretty much stay away no matter what and everything like that. So yeah. But maybe you guys are wondering because. Early in early Kur like in other Kirby games, you know, he has this thing called the copy ability and everything like that. But not in this game. This is an early. This is a game early on. Early on in the series, like he didn't have that just yet. So our best bet is just pretty much, uh, you know, eating someone and throwing it back at them and stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it and everything like that um and stuff so yeah but here are the bosses for stage two which is the male is low 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 and the female with the ribbon on top of the head is pretty much la 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 and everything like that to defeat them you pretty much gotta you know get the present throw it back at them and everything so he defeated la 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 and then pretty much Bam, we defeated Low Low Low. That's why they call it Castle Low 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 and everything like that. Obviously, I'm not going to make the obvious joke because I'm pretty sure everyone's done, everyone who's done the playthrough of this game has done it to death, especially around the time around the time when the Trollo Low song was pretty popular. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, um, but anyway, stage three, Flow Islands and everything, pretty much. We are in the games, every single like Nintendo game, has got to have some sort of swimming level and everything. And this one pretty much has it. So, some, uh, um, hmm. I, I, there, there is some moments where you do swim. There's some moments where you don't, but it's pretty much like a beach theme um, level and everything like that. So yeah, um, and stuff. But anyway, ooh, a microphone. Let me go ahead and sing the song to them. Damn, everyone just doesn't like Kirby singing for some odd reason. Man, tough crowd. I think Kirby has the voice of an angel um, and stuff. I'm not sure why people are, why, you know, the people of dream, the people, the freaking, uh, uh, the creatures of dreamland um, don't like Kirby singing for some odd reason um, and stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, there's obviously 
stuff to replenish your health. There's water bottles um, and everything. There's like um, other types of like food and everything like that and stuff like a piece of cake. I do believe that's one of them, I believe. So if not, it's just a water bottle. Um, and so here's a one up and everything. So let's go ahead and get the one up. It's like, well, you saw that kind of like Kirby's like freaking like just walking through the water, like underneath the water or something like that um, and stuff. Uh, because obviously if you kind of just drop all the way down, you'll pretty much die and we don't want that. We don't want to make Kirby. Uh, we don't want that for Kirby um, and stuff. But um, yeah, like, uh, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, um, and there's also the, uh, obviously, the, the big one, the, the main one that you definitely want to get and everything if you're really low on health, and that's the tomato, um, and everything like that, that'll pre pretty much fully recover your health and everything like that and stuff, and, yeah, and, oh, this one, look at that, you get this, this pretty much is a, is a spicy meatball, and pretty much you'll be throwing spicy meatballs at enemies and everything like that and stuff um, and everything. So obviously, maybe you guys are wondering, oh, is it that thing from Smash Brothers? Yeah, because freaking, believe it or not, freaking the one that pretty much made Kirby is none other than, you know, the man behind all of the, uh, behind all of the, um, behind, uh, you know, the one who made Kirby is the one pretty much behind a specific party slash fighting game known as Super Smash Brothers, and that man is none other than Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, no, God damn it! Uh, my God, I would say Miyamoto. Uh, Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Maybe guys, I am so sorry. Oh man, I made a mistake. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, me, um, uh, for, yeah, again, there I go again. Shit. Uh, freaking Sakurai. Yes, he's the one that pretty much created Kirby. That's his baby right there and everything. Thus, you know, that's why a lot of the items from the Kirby series is in the Smash Brothers games and everything like that. But anyway, oh my god, dude. I, oh man, dude, I freaking messed up so bad. Anyway, let's go ahead and call it an episode. I'll see you guys on the finale. Laters.